to Samsung Scene Search Technology Demonstration. Uh, Samsung Scene Search Technology is a novel new technology which enables you to get to the internet on a TV without using a keyboard and without using specially authored content or specially um, authored metadata in the stream itself. A scene Search does that by looking at things like closed captioning and UPG information to work out the topics that the TV program is about. So we have over here on my right is a system running CN Search. You can see the TV, it's connected to a uh, commercial set of boxes. This is the same hardware that's used in a uh, set of boxes sale today. Um, and it's running TV as you'd normally have. The TV is, is nothing, nothing uh, special. It's just normal TV coming in as either analog or MP2 or whatever stream, depending on the source, cable, satellite, mobile, whatever it may be. And um, that content is playing. And the scene search technology is listening, as I mentioned, to the closed captions and EPG information, amongst other things, inside the stream that's provided by default in most countries on uh, mainstream programming. And it's listening for the topics that the TV program is about. And so you can see here on the left of the screen in the toolbar, it's picked up topics for this C-SPAN program um, based on what's being discussed in the program guide information. So it's pulling up uh, Senator Chris Dodd, Obama, etc. And this is a li list of those ones. And as the content goes forward, if you press update, press the more info button again, um, it will give us uh, more information about the current situation. So we've seen now that there's uh, Waterloo and uh, prize of the political season, etc. coming in new topics are available all the time as uh, they're discussed by the program. So the topics are current topics. So if we pick one of those um, topics, uh, I know Hillary Clinton there at the top, what we have on the right are search results uh, and other information pulled by the TV from the internet directly related to that topic. So in this case, Hillary Clinton is bringing up information about Wikipedia, Google News, and a bunch of sites. So we can see the list of sites here coming from a variety of sources potentially. Uh, the content could be coming from search, as I mentioned. It could be coming from, a, say, an MSO site, or it could be coming from a, a partner site uh, to the TV. And you can see here that uh, there's a link. We can see if we click on that, uh, that will take us to the web content appropriately. Uh, as with all web content, it's a little bit of time to load, the graphics, etc. As you can see here, it's pulled up a loading uh, symbol. And uh, shortly, there you go, the web page came up for the information. So you can see here what we've done is been watching a normal TV program. We said, hmm, that's interesting. We've pressed the more information button on the remote control, and based on that, we found the topics out. We thought Hillary Clinton in this situation was good. We've gone directly to the website. We've never had to have a situation where we've used a keyboard, we've gone up onto the PC, we've just gone directly with the standard remote control to the information that we've desired that was related to the TV program. Now, clearly, there are obviously situations where you may want to do email or something, the PC is still needed, but for this kind of related information scenario, which is fairly common, uh, this is a direct way of getting the information. Now, web information is good, that, that, that's nice, there's a lot of web information, but of course another thing that's worth uh, investigating is the web media that's available these days. So the scene search technology not only can pull in information from uh, HTML websites, but from video content, be it from an MSO or from an um, internet video site, with flash video, etc. Uh, in this case, it's pulling in some QuickTime content. And you can see for each of the topics uh, that is extracted, there are various um, uh, video clips coming up that are pulled in by the box. And so if we take one of those and click on it, it will take us directly to the stream content from the internet. And so now you're not just watching one video program, but you're going essentially from one video program to another video program. That presents a very interesting scenario because it then becomes a, a non-linear experience. You're getting interactivity around the content um, just based on the existing content that exists and the metadata that exists. File. So we think that's a very powerful idea. Now, C-SPAN is a good example. There's you know, most stuff happening these days in the political arena, so there's things happening here. But c and search works on other types of program genres. It actually works on all types of program genres. So if we switch channel, we can see that this works on other types of uh, input. So we're going to a documentary. It's pulling information related to that. Uh, we could go on to uh, news programs. Uh, I think we have things like... Um, sitcoms, etc., and cooking programs. Each one, uh, scene search adapts to the, the topic extraction to, to meet what's necessary. So you can see here, it looks like we have uh, the yeah, sitcom, scrubs, it's just pulling in information about the program, there's the name of the program and the related information. It's also pulling in uh, actor, uh, actors and actresses' names, 
which are, you know, fans of the sitcom may be interested in. And of course, as the pro topics um, are discussed in the program, we press the uh, refresh button, new topics come up. So you can see here that time in deficiency and other bits and pieces came up related to the topics on this new program, which is, you know, quite different than a dramatic sitcom style from a documentary style, but it's still uh, capable to be dealt with by the scene search technology. So that's the main scene search technology. Um, one element we have had is that people feel with the interactivity enabled often on the TV that it can be disturbing to other viewers in the, the living room, spouse, family. Um, so we're, uh, we believe that another interesting uh, approach is to make that content available on a, uh, a secondary device like this. This is a Samsung Q1, but it could easily be a Samsung cell phone, which we'll, we'll see. Um, and um, this uh, basically gives you access to the same toolbar that you see on the uh, TV, but you would be able to get to the content on the screen, view the web results, video, etc. here, without disturbing other members of the family. So that presents, uh, obviously, a, a kind of non-disturbing scenario, but the interactivity is enabled still um, on just the normal devices you have, a laptop, a, a tablet, a phone, etc. Um, so interactivity does not have to be disturbing to the user experience. And that is the Samsung C and Search technology.